god, what is it? What is this fucking game we're about to play? Do you guys know yet? Can you tell? Oh, ah, uh, Kojima! -san! Why are your games so fucking good? This is Zone of the Enders, the first one. We're playing it on the HD collection, so if you're lucky, you might get the second game too. Um, but look at how awesome this crazy anime bullshit is. I am totally convinced that Kojima just looked at the PlayStation 2 and said, yeah, I want to make an anime for that, but I, I only make games, so here we go. Um, so probably... It was one of the first games released for PlayStation 2, and I still to this day think one of the coolest. Um, its sequel is an impeccable action game. This one was short and had its problems that a lot of people uh, didn't like a lot of things about it. Uh, the length being one of them, they thought the boss battles were a little either easy or too hard or contrived. Um, I really enjoyed this game when it came out. Um, like I said, I enjoyed the second one even more. But we got to check out both of them. I think this series really deserves to be uh, uh, really shown the limelight here. I think we should check out both of these and uh, hope for a sequel. I'm still hoping for a sequel. I know they had announced one um, when this HD collection came out. Um, yeah, they had announced one with this when this HD collection came out, but I guess it was put on hold like five or six months later. So we don't—I don't know what exactly is going on with that, but um, I'm sure we'll see something of it eventually. Fingers crossed. Praying to the Kojima Jesus. Uh, yeah. So, Zone of the Enders. Woo! A really good game. This game sold really well when the PlayStation 2 came out, but I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that the demo for uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 was uh, uh, included with this video game. And uh, that was at a time before anybody knew Raiden fucking existed. So, um, you got the game, you play a snake, and you play through part of the tanker. Uh, demo on, game off, captions, cool. Oh, those are the only options. Works for me. Oh, I'm so excited to play this fucking game. Um, I had wanted to have uh, Tony play through this game, and I wanted to play through the second one, but we all know that Tony, uh, you know, unfortunately died in that uh, cocaine fire accident, um, along with, like, an entire school bus full of children uh, that he was driving, um, so he couldn't be here today because of death fire. Um, this game's about space robot battles, and it's pretty awesome, um, as I've said a million times here. Um, your main objective is to be a little dumb teenage kid in the game. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you are a dumb little teenage kid in the game, but your main objective is to basically, um, deliver an orbital frame, a mecha, to people so that they can do stuff with it. And you go on adventures and trials and tribulations along the way. Also, uh, hey, look at those tits. Yeah, thanks, Kojima. Uh, look at that. It looked really good. It, it, this was one of those games that would, that blew everyone's fucking mind in terms of graphics when the, uh, PlayStation 2 came out. It was really good. Really, really good. Um, I don't really know too much about the art direction for the characters, but for the mechs and the world, it actually, I think, looks really, really cool. Uh, that's Viola. She's a bitch. Um, you don't really understand her character's motivations too much in the game. She's just kind of like an all-over-the-place, wants to die, then yells at you for dying, blah, 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 kind of crazy person. Um, but the, uh... Uh, the anime that came out after the first game came out uh, really fleshes out um, the world and why she is the way she is in it. So if you like stuff like this and you like anime, go check out the Zone of the Enders anime. Uh, they're actually pretty good. I've seen a couple of them. I haven't seen the whole thing, so I don't know if it shits the bed later on. Uh, but the uh, short version of the story that I read sounded like it would have made a pretty cool anime. Um, oh no. 
It's our fault. My fault. It's my fault. I'm a dumb little kid. No! God, look at those PlayStation 2 ass ass graphics, dude. That art, though. See, like, this is absolutely Kojima wanted to make an anime. And then he created a super crazy good, you know, action game. With the sequel, that was even better. Oh no, we gotta hide. Explosions are happen. People are killed. No, much death. So wow. Oh no! Oh shit. His fucking head got blown off. And then they just kept shooting at his head. Shit. Oh shit. What are they telling him to do? Oh, these games have a lot of English. A lot of really kind of bad, really janky translation. You're all gonna die. I'm sorry. Dead kids. About 15 minutes into the video and we're covered in dead kids. What the fuck? The wind decided to slam my door shut in the other room. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I got all scurred. I thought it was the dead kids coming back to haunt me. Oh shit. That's a female robot with a penis. Oh, all the robots have dicks in this game. Well, all the ones that have a person in them. They're AI robots, but see? Dick, penis, and then tits. Because robots need those. Look at it, it's angry. It's angry! It's like you survived. You should have survivor's guilt. Bah! See, what the fuck does that mean? Fucking English. Oh, I don't want her in my main shaft. That's horrifying. You're weird. Your motivations are confusing as fuck. Then again, it probably also has something to do with the translation that we don't know what the fuck you're thinking at all times. Damn. More dead people. He's just surrounded by dead people. Oh god, get in there. Who's ready for the awesome moment? Look! Look at it! Oh, that entire giant... 40, 50 foot tall mech is an awesome button right there. Look at that. Look at how happy he is about this shit. Oh! oh and he got hit in the head with a fucking rock after that? He should be unconscious. That said, he just shakes it off, though. While the, the rape robot just stares through the thing like, Oh, I'm gonna get you, kid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take what's mine. You butt. That's creepy, I shouldn't be talking about that. I blame you, Kojima. We are inside the robot penis. So far it looks pretty good, even, you know, considering it's aged so far and they really only did, you know, an, a passable HD update. The HD update they did for these are really good. Uh, this game didn't really have any any sort of loss or anything like that, but there's a lot of uh, slowdown and frame rate issues with the uh, the second game. Then again, the second game has so much more going on than this one. Look at how good that looks. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Can't wait to blast through this game for hours and hours and hours. Whee! It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Look at how good it looks. And they throw you into combat right away with crazy... Come on. You're dead. You can look around during the cutscenes. Aw, lady talking to me. Hi, Ada. Not not the not the Ada from Resident Evil. The 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 better Ada. Yes, this Ada's better than the Ada from the Resident Evil series. Look at how good this looks. This is a good looking like area thing. It's pretty sick. 
I like looking around. Uh, can we zoom in or anything? No. Alright. Excuse me. We'll go through the... Here we go. Up and down. Oh yeah, this is what I really like. Um, this game to control... Uh, uh, Ascending and descending, put it with the Y and A button. Well, with the PlayStation 2 at the time, it was the triangle and X button. So everybody who's used to jamming on X to do action stuff would have to, uh, you know, get used to square being the attack button. But look at the way the camera sticks, or the camera keeps up so well with whatever you're doing. Even later on when you start dashing around like crazy, it, it sticks so well to whatever you're doing. Uh, there's some lock-on issues with this game. I think they tried to fix it for the HD version. I don't remember how good it was or not. Um, oh, shit. No, I don't want you to explain. Uh, here, we'll just end training. We don't need any of this. Absolutely do not need. Take this shield. <laughs> So Metatron is just like an item get situation in this game, but they explain a lot more what the fuck it is and why it's important in the second game. And uh, the anime explains it a lot better. <clears throat> but it's basically a new type of element that humanity finds and uses to do crazy space bullshit. Okay. And here we go. Up and out. On to our grand adventure. I hope you're excited for adventure, Ada. Look at how good this looks. Look at how good this whole everything looks. I love this shit. This shit looks great. I used to love... Like anime mech shit like this and then a lot of bad anime mech shit like this ruined it for me. This is cool though. Oh shit, that's right. Okay, so for this game, since you're in basically a residential area for the majority of the game, um, it is in your best interest, and it actually would increase or decrease your uh, uh, final grade to uh, not destroy buildings, not allow buildings to be destroyed, and to um, save as many civilians as possible. So there's no, like, escort quests or anything. There's just, there's civilians in some buildings, and if the buildings explode, they all die. Look at this shit! This looks, this feels so good. Like, it's so effortless to do crazy awesome bullshit. And it's not even like automatic. Um, obviously you've got your lock on, you have movement that's related to your lock on, but there's no automatic shit. There's no like, like press X button to do Y combo. It's, it's all based on... Mm, I'm trying to think of a good way to explain it. It's all based on the position of your mecha and the aspiration of your mecha. So if you're moving faster, you're going to do different attacks. If you're moving slower, you're going to do other attacks. If you're standing still, you're going to do heavy attacks. Stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, our dead friends are down there under them. I mean, and we call them friends? Yeah, everybody's dead. I'm a kid, wait! They uh, were very smart in the second game to get rid of that fucking kid. I mean, he's still in the game, but uh, you play as somebody who isn't all like, yeah, Kelly's bad. Kind of play as a dude who just don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's correct. To the detriment of the story, now that I think about it, if they'd given the guy a little bit more motivation than he did in the second game, uh, he would have been a cooler and more interesting character. But. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that if and when we come to the second game.
in the meantime, look at those things. I like that right in the beginning, they put the, uh, the giant mechs next to trucks just to give you a sense of scale of how big they are, etc. Which is really cool. Um, God, he's not happy. He's having some fucking post-traumatic stress bullshit. And then somebody's going to call him up and be like, Hey, bitch, go kill more motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, you can't handle this shit. Shit's going to happen. You're going you gonna to like it. Let's take a look around here. Look at how cool that looks. Eventually, we're going to be flying around this. This is the way that that city should look in games from, like, a distance. It looks great. I love how good it looks. And this is, I mean, yeah. The character models in this one are just, eh, whatever. They went straight on um, hand-drawn animation for the second game, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I really liked it a lot more than the uh, than this one here. Then again, that gives them more opportunity to do dumb anime bullshit, as you'll see from the... Uh, uh, the anime cutscenes that are just kind of a little too anime-ish for me, um, and the damn uh, you know anime music videos they throw into the game. They they start they made a whole new cutscene for uh, like a whole new opening uh, music video for the HD release that plays before any of the stuff uh, plays, um, and it's the most like bad dumb anime beginning of a, of a TV show thing ever with the uh, music, etc, etc. Granted, the music is alright, but I mean, for some reason, right in the middle, they have a, a, a naked chick floating in space for like 20 seconds, and then she cries tears, and the tears turns into bird feathers, and it's like, why? Why fucking do that? Why do that to cool mech game? Just make it a cool mech game about cool mechs. No, I don't want to. Listen. No, you listen. No, you listen. I'm a little bitch. Who the hell are you anyways? Why do you want He's such a little so bitch. Much? You fought well. We're just asking for a little more of your help. Please. I suppose you want me to kill again. Well, I want nothing more to do with any of you. Go kill. You don't even know what the fuck is going on, you dumb shit kid. You fucking suck. more people will die. Leo Stenbuck, more like giant fucking sissy boy every single one of them tiny whiner face yeah if they do shut up it was cleverer in my head maybe the end of civilization as we know it you must please help us oh no my friends are dead and they're asking me to help with the entire save the planet and blah 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 if you look beyond the letters at the little uh, thing down there that says lock, that shows a weapon that's in the second game, but not in this game. The fact they, they like, it's like they knew where they were going with this game before they even made it. And Kojima probably had the money in place for a sequel before they even made this game. Just based on projections of how well Metal Gear Solid 2 would do, which if I remember correctly sold like fucking wildfire. never help you kill anybody. Maybe killing is all right for you people, but it's not with me. I understand. Okay, I understand. Stop being a little bitch about it. We have a business deal. The person yeah. in charge is headed to you right now. I can't get through to him, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. Oh, what's your name? Leo. My okay, name is Leo. Nancy. I'm Elena Weinberg, second in charge of Atlantis. Just call super me Japanese me. English person name. I can really trust you, can't I? Well, we don't kill indiscriminately. I wonder if there's a website that tallies how many times names are reused in uh, Japanese media in general. How many Elenas there are, how many... I will explain uh, the mission plan. The mission is to transport this Jeopardy to Mars. Kens there are... There's a Ken in the second game. It's a First, female, though. You know what I mean? With the civilian freighter Atlantis and leave the colony of Antilia. Then again, I'd rather have the, the random reused trope than like weird fucking names that come out of left field and make no goddamn sense. I'm trying to think of one, but I can't. Look at the way the tickers move on the side depending on where I'm pointing. That's super cool. They put so much detail into this entire game, it's really really awesome. 
Boop. Let's get this. What do we got? This thing. We have obtained the program. We have obtained the scouting mode module. It enables okay. us to fight against more than one enemy at a time. A lock-on related operation has been newly added. Let me pull huh. up a window to explain its operation. You're gonna tell me how to let's see. Yeah, it's gonna tell me how to lock on, escape from enemies, and camera operation. We don't need any of that. This I know how to do all this. Um, there's actually some really interesting dual stick aiming uh, that'll go on with uh, weapons later in the game that you can actually use to pull groups of enemies from all the way across the map by using, um, which is really cool, especially when you're trying to avoid damage to an area. You can basically snipe an enemy from very far away. Um, and uh, draw them to you and they'll fly straight to you and they won't really like destroy anything along the way so it actually works out really well um, and this game sets up a really interesting juxtaposition um, as you can level up in this game and the higher level you get obviously you get more health uh, I think you get to move a little faster etc um, however you get into uh, more fights and um, you know that's bad I guess no I shouldn't have grabbed that right away um, you get into more fights, which isn't really a big deal if you're not worried about collateral damage, but the more you fight, the more likely it is that you will end up killing people, basically. Or damaging the colony. Um, and I mean, this is one of those games where, where nothing less than perfection will do. I mean, if you get a 90% on uh, civilian saving missions, basically, if you get like a 90%, um, it's like a C, which is kind of crazy. But if you look at this, you kind of have to pull some of them away anyways because they're just going around bombing civilian buildings. Come on. See, look, he's already right by all these civilian buildings, so I gotta take care of them. At least, like, the falling debris and shit doesn't kill him right there. One of these has to have a passcode. I can get it later. Come on. Come to daddy. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Drawing you away from all the buildings. So, being underleveled is extremely disadvantageous later on in the game, but uh, as you can see, it's hard to get these guys away from you friggin' stuff that they're gonna destroy. And your long-range uh, weapons do just about as much collateral damage as en any enemy does. Oh, there's a cool little effect. Watch the feet pop out into skates when he gets on the ground, then it cuts into the ground. That's pretty sick. Pretty neat -o. Let's see, what do we got? This will be the flight one, I think, which will allow us to go from area to area. Uh, they cordon off the areas in this game. Uh, um, yeah, here we go. I'll tell us to fly away. They cordon off the areas in this game, so you got an area A, area B, area C, blah, 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 blah. And you fly in between them in kind of like a little overworld that flies over the entire area. And it's actually pretty... It's a cool way to do um, transitions in the game. No, I'm not leaving the area. I want to make sure we got everything, although we have a map for that. Look at how detailed the map is. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Can't remember how to zoom in. Uh, fuck it. Okay. Uh, area change. Yes, let's move to another area. Hope you're ready to see a giant mecha robot boner. Wait for it. Yeah! That big robot dick. Okay, enough jokes of that. It'll get old really quick. Oh shit, they're blowing up a town. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so here is the overworld. And there's two later, because eventually you get way over there to the other side of the colony. Right now you can't go there. But, see, you can fly around like this and be all happy and be like, Yay, fly, fly, fly. It's super cool. I can see that, thank you. Of course not. 
Actually, that's a spoiler. I don't know. I don't think they ever say. Oh shit, that's right. They start us off with a boss fight immediately. Father, I detect Hope you're ready for this. You mean everyone is dead? That's oh no! I love how Ada's just like, yeah, maybe, but you're a stupid kid. Shut up. <coughs> Fucking shit, I'm dying. Hey, look, it's the chick. Hey. They kind of try to set her up as like a friend slash love interest, but it's so clear by the end of the second game, all Leo wants to do is fuck Ada. The, the AI program. So, it's one of those her situations. Haven't seen the movie, heard it was okay. How many fucking times are you gonna say Selvis in one fucking go? What are you doing here? Jesus Christ. That's impossible. There's so many homeless people between here and there trying to wash your windows. And you don't even have windows. They'll never let you through. You can't make it. Don't you know you can't make it? Wow, all he wants to do is not kill people and save people's lives. But the moment he has an opportunity to try and save children in a church, he's like, eh, fuck them. What a bastard. What a sloppy bastard. Oh shit, Ada, take care of this while I yell at my bitch. Oh yeah, so, I like the big um, multi-phase enemies in this game, the the bosses, they're, I think they're pretty cool bosses. The only problem is the majority of them, the big ones like this, uh, you can't get close to. You can't damage in close quarters, which sucks, because you just basically have to sit back and peg him. There's more English. What? Look at the size of that dick. I'm Shut up. I'm not talking about dicks. Go away. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Look at how much... Ridiculous damage you can do just with the basic shot attack here, though. I mean, I'm just fucking plowing through him, and so far he hasn't touched me. He'll become a lot tougher in the second phase, because um, his head will start popping around all over the place in, like, a really weird way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. You can only damage the head or the dick. Thanks, Kojima. Oh yeah, and they expect you to mitigate damage from these guys, even when you're fighting giant murder bosses. It's kind of fucking ridiculous. And the homing attack is really the only one that can hit the head when it's in this form. Or the dick. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm actually doing really well here. I did some, uh... Uh, oh fuck, I just blew up a building. I did some uh, uh, practice gameplay before this and I was getting my ass handed to me by this guy. Mainly these attacks here were fucking me up. There we go. Finally getting in some hot dick action. I said I would stop with this dick jokes. I apologize. I apologize for the, the laughiness of my dick. Oh yeah, I can block these. Maybe I should be doing that. This gave me perfect use of the DualShock 2 when it came out. It was great. Uh, the second game did even better stuff because they figured out, oh my god, we have twin stick shooter um, abilities. Um, so they actually designed some puzzles around having to steer with the right analog stick while you move with the left. Um, and it was really cool. Here, look, when I get close up, he just knocks me back. Good news is I'm at about 50%, but he hasn't. He's, he's almost dead, so. God! I'm fucking destroying this place that I live! 
We're almost done though. Here we go. Bam. I did it. America. Take that shit. Ah. Uh, that was fun. I mean, it was pretty good. The boss battles in the second game were so good. I gotta stop talk I gotta stop sucking the dick of the second game while playing the first one. No no more second game talk. Right now. We're we're calling it. No more bullshit. This shit's it's all first game right now. This is all that's happening. We don't even know the second game exists. It's great. Fucking goddamn it. Why? They can't fight anymore. Your question does not compute. Why not destroy it? Why should I kill when there's no reason to? I compute 17 I don't. reasons for such action. Most pressing is possibility of the target gaining access to another orbital frame and returning to battle at another time and place. Shut up! I refuse to destroy him. What's the Don't point necessarily disagree with him right now, but he's left. kind of a whiny Did bitch about it. Don't bother. I have to conclude that your reaction is extremely illogical. Fuck off, bro. Actions by persons without sufficient capabilities make it very difficult to fulfill the mission. You mean I'm not good enough? Oh, I can't move the camera right now. I like how we're sitting here watching this thing slowly burn its way onto the side of that building. That building's gonna burn. Ooh, that building's fucking gone now. And so is the flying dick. Ooh, sick burn, dog. Oh, she didn't give a fuck, though. You make the computer cry later in the game. It's funny and fun. Oh, shit. More people to fuck up. You ready to fuck them up? Let's, muck, let's fuck them up. No, not my possible love interest who isn't a robot, so I'm not interested. I only want that robot girl parts. I don't see any kids. Did you eat them? Did you eat the kids? You're a horrible person. Stop eating babies. Oh, Jesus. The thing can't aim for shit. They just can't. Oh. That was fast. Hey, baby, you know, I was pretty hot when I saved you from, you know, from that giant death robot, huh? Sorry about your church, though. Hey, 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 want to get in my whip? Hey, look at these 20s. 20 feet. Oh. You can't top that shit. You can't fucking top it. Yeah.